What's up guys, Winter Kills here. Welcome back to another post commentary duel video. We've got some blue eyes versus dark magicians. Um so yeah, pretty interesting matchup here for you guys, and I hope you enjoy. It's gonna start off things. We get started right away, gonna get started off with a ultimate rare pot of duality. Going for that dark magical circle. And uh already looking like a, a great first turn. You wanna do a I think my brother there, who's playing on the right, wanted to check out what Eternal Soul does. Because he's not too familiar with playing against Dark Magician. I think this may have been maybe one of the first or very uh, few times that he's ended up playing against Dark Magician. And of course, he's playing Blue Eyes. Um, so it is a very interesting matchup. Dark Magician for Blue Eyes. Um, Kaiba versus Yugi, sort of, if you will. Um, so yeah, the draw power, as you can see, is extremely real. Uh, we've seen a duality. So far, we've seen a Dark Magic Circle, we've seen a Desires. Uh, he's digging through his deck right now for all the combo pieces. There's a freaking Allure of Darkness. Could it get any better? Um, and it, it seems like he ends up having uh, the perfect first turn, Banishing Illusion Dark Magician, or Dark Magician of Illusion, and setting four other back row. He'll start off strong with a Twin Twister, great way to start off the, the turn. Gonna discard the the white stone and hit two other back row that is not the circle wants it set cards first. Feels that those might be more of a threat. Dragon Shrine. Adding a blue eyes to his hand off that white stone. Getting things going on his side of the board as well. Does have to worry about that circle though. Because if he does end up being able to summon a magician. Uh, through a navigation, he could easily get uh, one of his monsters banished. There is a uh, Dragon Spirit of White coming out off that um, Gospel of Revival. Going for... To banish that navigation, he'll chain it, and there's a Ghost Reaper also. Banishing his spirits... Really not too big of a deal though, a lot of people um, don't really care as, I mean most Blue Eyes players, my brother included, don't really care about getting uh, Ghost Chariot anymore because it really doesn't affect you because a lot of the times your rank 8 plays are some of your more potent plays and you don't really have to worry about going into Spirit all the time because you have rank 8 plays which are oftentimes better. Ending up banishing a, a Storming Mirror Force again off another uh, Spirit Effect and then another Spirit Effect in the End Phase banishing, um, or not in the End Phase, but another Spirit Effect um, coming out just to banish another, another spell card, that Dark Magic Circle being banished now. Going into a full armor and then into a number 38, leaving him in a top, top decking position. And what does he top deck? It's a pot of desires, so uh, pretty good uh, top deck card to get negated. Uh, great board ending there off that soul charge, really sealing the deal. Of course, if you wanted to activate desires, he'd have the banish time for cost and wouldn't get to draw any cards in return. So very, very good card to combat that. Starting off with Kaiku, the Ghost Destroyer. It's a bit of a okay side deck card. I'm not sure if they sided. I cannot remember. Um, uh, it's a decent side deck card against. Um, blue eyes I would say not the best um, it does help to stop some things there's a navigation summoning out a dark magician from hand and one from deck the illusion magician will get triggered in hand to summon another copy of himself but I believe anytime a spell or trap card is activated inside the field you can special summon that that guy in particular to your field so he's able to assemble a pretty big defensive field pretty much out of nowhere just because of that one navigation. Alternative and Spirit Dragon on his side of the field as well. Could pretty much easily deal with this field, uh, no problem. Uh, I guess I guess the Kaiku does stop Spirit Dragon. I guess that's kind of a big thing. No more banishing back row, but it's easily outed as you can see right there. Running over Kaiku and the attack position Dark Magician. He could easily here main phase 2 go for Arc Brave. Uh, through Dark Matter, but he's going to opt to go for Heliopolis. feel like the Master Removal is going to be a little bit better, which in turn it is. 
He'll end phase stone, go for a regular blue eyes. Heliopolis being one of the better, uh, less known rank eights you can go into. Non-targeting removal. Contribute, I think, up to like two cards from hand or field to destroy the same number of cards on your opponent's side of the field. So it is a very, very good card. And it has very decent stats. I think at 3,000 attack and 2,000 and change defense, something like that. He attacks into a storming mirror force, but it's okay. Could be worse. Could be a drowning mirror force. The stuff's going to go back to his hand. I don't know how you guys feel about storming mirror force. How do you guys feel about any of the mirror force cards right now in the current meta? I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of new and cool mirror forces, but uh, their potency is... I think a little bit lacking because they don't really do too much. Um, putting a whole bunch of cards back in your opponent's hand nowadays isn't too much big of a deal as you can see right now. Easily being uh, recovering from that mirror force going into another titanic galaxy. And uh, it's going to be game over from there. A whole bunch of nothing he can do in his hand. And that's going to be it for this match. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, and as always, guys, the winner kills signing out. We'll see you in the next one.